Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit your photos for free online using Adobe Photoshop Express. So you've most likely heard of Photoshop and you might know that there's the Photoshop Professional or CC where you could do some pretty professional looking stuff and they, you know, it's a it's kind of a complex program and it's very expensive too. And then you also have Photoshop Elements which is a toned down version, way easier to use. You could still do some pretty unique stuff and it's a lot more user friendly if you're not a computer expert. And then we have this Adobe Photoshop Express, which is free to use and it's online and it's kind of a click and let the program do its work type of thing rather than you kind of being able to fine tune all your adjustments. So what you do, you can either click on upload a file or you could drag and drop a file here. So I'm going to show you I have a couple different kind of pictures here. I have a photo, regular photograph here, so I'll drag it in there. And then you have your options on the left here. And so, you know, the typical options, like if you want to resize to a specific width and height or if you want to make a custom size like a 5 by 7 for a picture type of thing you could do that and then we have the crop and straighten so if your picture is crooked you could you know adjust it that way or if you need to rotate it you could do that and if you want to apply a specific aspect ratio you could do that and then they also have some you know some preset so if you're if you're a YouTube user and you want to make it a a thumbnail you could just click on that and have it apply that sh size right there for you and if you don't like something just click on reset and there's also undo if you make a change you get undo and that kind of thing so we're going to just click on reset there and then cancel if you don't want to use it and then there's the touch up feature which is kind of interesting uh, it's more of like a and a race feature if you ask me so if I use that and apply it to this bike rider here so now he's gone obviously it's not perfect and you can see the smudges in there so I guess if you want to like erase a blemish you know touch up in other words then you could try that and see how it works for you and so once again we're gonna undo that and then we have the adjust image section so if you want to adjust um, the way it looks there's some presets in here so if you want to make it black and white you can do that with a click of a button and down here we have some other options you know for changing color options if you want to make it a matte color you know, H photo look black and white you know vintage that kind of thing you could use that and then if you want to adjust some specific aspects yourself you could go in here and adjust the shadows and the highlights the whites and the blacks you know just kind of fine-tune it yourself and then colors and effects you know for clarity and that kind of thing so we'll cancel that out I'll remove background I'll show you that in a minute on a different type of picture because it'd be way too hard to try to remove the background of this picture the artifacts are pretty cool so it kind of has a section for popular so if I want to make this like a cartoon click on that so you know one click and you got yourself a little custom cartoon looking picture there and then you know pop arts and stylized and there's some other effects under here if you want to you know give them a pixelated look or whatever so those are pretty cool Okay, so that's it for regular photographs. So let me put a clip art in there. I want to show you the uh, remove background feature, which I was hoping was going to be uh, better than it was. So if we have our picture, I want to remove this white background here, so make it transparent. So if I click on remove background, you would think it'd be able to tell what the background was with the white, but apparently not. See how I removed part of the green there, and I've had this problem with other simple clip art pictures where it was just a white background where it took some of the actual picture away so I guess you know you might have better luck than I do so you could give it a shot and then while you're here if you want to you know change the background color you could do that but then again you're still missing this part here so you know it's kind of a cool feature so give that a shot and it might work good for you too and you know same thing you could apply the same effects here and and resize and so on and then once you're happy with the way it looks if you click on download you could download an image and just save it with a different name because if you save it with the same name then you're going to overwrite your original and you might want to go back to it so just always use a different name when you download 
you know, just remember you could cancel stuff and undo and redo from these options and reset. So just kind of play around with it and see how it works for you. And I think you'll be able to do some pretty cool stuff with it and uh, make it look like you're a semi-pro photo editor. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.